axon, we got six core, which is com composing a transformation. So we're gonna do more than one transformation. So you compose transformation means you're doing more than one at the same, you know, one after one in a, in a sequence. Like, for example, here, look at this shape here. This is the pre-image and this is the image. Now let's say this one went all the way here. How did it go all the way here? Is it was it was uh, uh, transferred from one place and then reflected? Uh, is it translated? Is it rotated? So all that we're going to be doing. So you can see there's some there's some kind of rotation here going on, and uh, so we'll see. We'll talk about it when we get to it. Now um, uh, let's see an example here. They're giving you an example here. For example, look at this one. The one in blue here, which is the, the one without the prime on top of it. So look at the P here. P is what it was here at the six and a four. It ends up to be negative one and four. So it was moved to the left. How many steps? You count the steps right here. There's a six steps here, one step. So it's moved to the left for seven steps. Now, any anytime you move something, the other one's going to move with it. So if P moved six uh, steps to the left, that means n has to do the same thing. So if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, so you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, right? No, this is being seven. This is a seven, three, and this is a six here, and this is a negative one here. Okay, so you can see there's a, a seven steps here. Good. So a seven unit, seven units. So it has to be the same thing. Now it's going to be rotated, for example, here. Let's see if there's a, some kind of reflection. Oh, here they're reflecting over a line that is an x equal to negative 3. So a point here is going to be reflected to the side. So that will be a reflection over a line, what we call a reflecting line. It's like a mirror. It's like having a mirror. Okay. Here the same thing. So you're going to be moving things around. So you're moving A to this location. Then you're moving it down to this location. And then you could move it to another, another time. For this location right so this is uh, more than one one kind of transformation we will do this when we get to it in class would be more fun when we do it in class all right so now let's go ahead and uh, continue now the next section is going to be about uh let's see where is it here this is the next section yeah understanding the congruent figures okay so i need to know what's a con what's congruent figures uh, congruent means they are the same exactly the same you know same shape, same same angles. Uh, now look at this one here. Look at this one. It's you can see that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. You can see that the length of of those sides are the same. So this side is equal to the side, and this side is equal. To, okay, they're not rotated in the, in the same way, but this is the same shape. It's being rotated around. So nothing nothing changed. So they are exactly the same. And uh, we didn't do any dilation or uh, anything like that. So we kept the, the, the shape as is, okay? Well, that's what we call rigid rigid motion, right? So it's, it's, it's it, nothing, the size of things does not change. So the angle is still the same, the size is still the same. Now, let's go ahead and see the next section, if we're going to be able to get and get to it, which is the dilation. Dilation now when things are different, like, you know, in size. So you can see there's something I'll show you here. Look at this blue, uh, or the green one, sorry. Look at this one here in green, A, B, C, D. Now it's the shape become be, became a lot bigger. So you can see that here. Now it goes from here. Let's see, this one here, here. That's the new one here. So you see it's a, a lot bigger. So it's been dilated by a factor. Okay, now you could see that A, D, Notice that the side of this this side of this uh, rectangle it's, it matches with this one, but it's a lot bigger. So here, as you can see, there's like only one block. For example, here's going to be three blocks. So it's been dilated by three. So the factor of dilation is three, for example. Okay. So and and that's what we're going to be doing in class. Also, we're going to see this one here. Where we count one, two, three, four, one, two. So it's going to be dilated by two. So you multiply by two and you get. Uh, this one or you could reduce this one by half so you get to so it depends which way you're going to go so if you're going from green to red so you're actually going half if you're going from red to green that means you multiply by two but it depends on the question if the question starts you from here you have to go down that means you you're doing a factor of half okay guys talk to you later Bye bye